Welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie. I'm also known as Glitty Gem. Thank you for joining me here today. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, give my video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And for those who are returning subscribers, thank you and welcome back. Uh, thank you for being huge loyal supporters of my channel, my community. Love you. Love you guys. Thank you for being here. So today we're going to go ahead and unbox my ice cream beauty box. I received it in the mail about about a week ago so um, this is the try on as well I went ahead and I created a look using some you know two of, two of the products that are in here you know so uh, that's the eyeshadow and the lipstick so let's drive right into this uh, box in here so this is a $25 box which is pretty I think it's pretty good you know for the price $25 and um, that's including shipping and they give you amazing products I'm very amazed with uh, this month's um, box um, I did see spoilers and I really am I loved everything in this box so let me share the let me share those items with you guys and see if y'all you know I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love the same thing <laughs> that's my opinion but uh, let's go ahead and open this up so I can see what it's, what is inside and what's falling out is this card Come on well here's the box so the card here is called June Chrome Addict. So it's a Chrome Addict uh, theme for this month of June. I'm so excited that I got this month's uh, box because sometimes, you know, I skip months. So um, I'm so glad that I didn't skip this month. And plus, I didn't see any spoilers for this month until until I was already charged onto my account and I was gonna wanted I wanted to see if I was gonna if I was gonna just cancel it. But no, I didn't cancel it. I didn't get to see any spoilers no spoilers came out until after you know I was already charged and like I said um so I'm glad I didn't skip this this month's box or beauty bag I did beauty bag box the beauty bag unboxing um unbagging or unboxing already I'll go ahead and put that video up here so you can watch it and then um so yeah so it's called the chrome attic so that means most of these items in here are going to be shiny duo chrome uh, it's gonna it's like my favorite like one of my that's my favorite theme you know duo chromes anything that's shiny and sparkly anything that shifts you know that draws your attention so here we go so here is how I showed y'all the box so up here we have let me see let me set this box down Okay, so first off, we have this Charmacy Charmacy Double Headed Stick Eyeshadow and Highlighter. Wow, okay. And Double Headed Stick Eyeshadow and and Highlighter. God. All right, let's let's pull this out. Let's do some swatches. Yes, let's do some swatches. Okay, so this side I'm pretty sure is the highlight. So let's go ahead and swatch the highlight. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to put some of that in my tear duct right now. Oh my god. It gave me a huge dramatic effect there. I'm going to put some up here. OMG, you guys. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. Uh, look at that. It really is beaming. It's really beaming. Wow. I do like, I love that shift. It's like an opal, opal type of um, tone, you know. And then the next one here is the actual eyeshadow. So let me see what what shade they gave me. It looks like this. It almost looks like it's green, but then it wants to turn purple. Almost like the colors that I have on right now, right? So I have no idea it's going to look like that. So I'm excited about that. I really am excited about that. So... That's how this looks like. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Love that duo chrome. Ah, like I can see, like I can see green on this side, and then it shifts like to purple, and then like I don't know, blue. I mean, like gold, gold, green, and purple. Like I can. Oh my goodness, I should have put this on when I was doing my eye look. I just didn't think about it because I didn't know. I, I didn't even know we had this product. 
it's okay because I created this eye look and it almost looks the same as the eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and see how much this costs or what, how much this is going for. It's called a multi-chrome. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, because there's more than two shades in this shadow stick. Oh my god, I love this shadow stick. I I really do like the way this, this came on. I like the highlight. I like the, I like the pigmentation. Um of this shadow stick you know with the highlighter I really do love that this is going for it's called the dual chrome sparkle shadow no I'm sorry it's called the what do I call it the charmacy that one is that one is double set okay that one goes for fourteen dollars yes fourteen dollars for that dual chrome So I'm going to go ahead and get my calculator out so we can go ahead and calculate the the uh, price, the, the value, the value of this box, $14. We have the ZC, this is the Interstellar Space Highlighter by ZZ Cosmetics. Wow, that's beautiful. It's, it's Korean or Chinese. I think it's Chinese. Is uh, let's look at it. See how this looks like. Wow. Okay, this is how it looks like. It's like a goldish, like a light gold. I like it. I like it. I just don't want to swatch it because I I do have a lot of highlighters and I do not want to. Uh, sorry this shelf life so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and, and just wait till I'm ready to use it I do have a lot of highlighters I do so um, try not to waste the try not to start any shelf lives you know so that's the second product the box just fell on the floor give me one second okay and the price for the for the highlighter I didn't give you the price for the highlighter the price for this one is $35, wow, $35 for that, it's got to be good, you know, for the price, $35, it better be good, okay, so the next thing we have here is the lipstick that I'm wearing, it has a glitter component, and not to mention it also has a glitter, um, does, it has glitter like on the bullet, but it doesn't give you glitter on your lips. It just leaves it like this so that's how this looks like love the shade I love this fiery red shade love the glitter detail on it it's called solo the shade solo this is the um, glitter lipsticks by Oakland cosmetics it's five dollars all right five dollars I do gotta say it does bleed so you know just letting y'all aware that it does bleed but it look so pigmented it's so pigmented i love the pigmentation on this and this is just with one swipe yes so and it's five dollars for five dollars yes please five dollars yes okay so the next products that are in my box are the chantico beauty uh duo chromes duo chrome sparkle shadows this shifts from like uh like a fuchsia purpley pinky color from to a, like a blue like a light blue and this one I don't know what the shift is on this one okay but it's blue I don't know what the other color would be unless I swatched it this is in the shade moonshine and this one the one I just uh, the first one was called Genesis okay so this is what Genesis looks like. Put it to this one side. Oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful. Those were two. Those were considered as one, one item, but they're two. And those were $38. The last but not least, which is the palette. The palette goes for $30. Wow. So this is the palette. This is the 
uh, Beauty Moon Cosmetics by Ice Cream Beauty. I never heard of this brand, Beauty Moon Cosmetics, but now I'm interested in looking up the the brand, the, the looking up the company because it's by Ice Cream. So they must have uh, they must have did a, a collab uh, collaboration. I'm sorry, and I love the packaging. I'm not the camera's not make the camera's not giving it any justice, but it shifts like to different colors like holographic colors on the sleeve here you can see pink like this side you can see pink i can see it in the camera i can see pink turns to white and then it just looks like like there's like little lines like lines that go up and down that go across i'm sorry they're like they look like little lines that go across like that wow i do like the packaging the packaging is really nice and appealing and then this is how the eyeshadow palette looks like from the outside. And then let's, look, let's open it up from the inside. So I did use this as a try-on. So I tried this on today. I made it look a glam eye look. Well, I consider this glam. <laughs> so I hope you like the look that I created with this eyeshadow palette. So the colors that I started off with in my crease, I used this shade called Aspect. Here is like a reddish shade, like a deep red. So I used almost cranberry. So I used that in my crease. And then on my outer corner, I went ahead and I used the shade Pout first on the outer corner and inner, you know, outer corner and lid as well. Like outer corner crease and then the lid part area, I used the shade Pout. And then I went ahead and I darkened it up with this shade here in the middle, which is Looks like a purple color. It looks brown. It looks, it looks, it looks almost like a like a reddish brown. Almost it looks like a like a plum brown. You know, just looking at it from here, from this distance. But whenever you put it, when I shift it to the side, it almost looks like a like an olive green. If I shift it to the to the side, Let's see if I can show you guys. Okay, so it's purple here. It's purple. So there's purple, and then when it shifts, I'm sure we can see where it starts to shift into like olive, like an olive tone. But yeah, yeah, it looks olivey. And then when you look at it from the front, it looks like a like a dark plum, you know, shade. And that's what I use on the outer corner to just darken up the cor the outer corner of my eye, and then just to you know give me like like a pop of color just yeah just give me a pop of color <laughs> i use the shade fizz here it looks yellow that's how i put it on because it looks yellow but then it also shifts to like a like a peridot shade so it shifts like peridot and yellow yeah like a mustard yellow so i really i really like that and then i use the shade demeanor so i don't know if demeanor is like a brown or is it green or is it black i didn't get to I don't know, but I use this with my bottom lash line. What is that? What color is that? Is that black? I don't know. It almost looks like a mix of black, maybe blue, and dark, dark green. But I think it's I don't know. What do you What do you think, guys? Does that look like a black? Does that look black to you guys? I don't know, but I put that on the bottom lash line. And that is everything in this box. So the value of this box is $122. And um, I hope you like the look that I created, like I said, using this palette. If you want to see me create this look on camera so I can see how exactly I did it, just let me know. Oh, I also use the inner corner highlight. <laughs> For my inner corner highlight and my eyebrow bone, I use a shade called Air. From right here, called Air. And then I just went ahead and I topped the inner corner with Y'all saw the eyeshadow stick, the highlighter eyeshadow stick. So it's a value of $122. And it, it only cost me $25 for this box, guys. This box was amazing. I really, I really am glad that I got to purchase it this month. You can still get it as well before the month is over with. So uh, let me just let you know what I have on my face. All right, first off, my concealer went ahead and I used my Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. It's a little deluxe sample, and I use that just to highlight, you know, areas on my skin, you know, 
areas where I need to, you know, you know, cover up some flaws, you know. And then I also used uh, bronzing for bronzing or for contouring. I actually use my bronzer, my Yensa Silk Bronzing Base. I use that. And then I also use my Kylie Cosmetics uh, in the shade Khaki um, Bronzing Powder as well, just to go over the cream. It just kind of neutralizes because the cream is a little red for my skin tone, but I neutralize it with the other, with the powder. And then for my highlight, I went ahead and I used my Wander Beauty Highlighter in the shade After Hours. So that's what I use for my highlighter on my, you know, the cheekbone you know, up here, uh, on my nose a little bit, on my chin, and maybe on my cupid's bow. All right. And then I went in and I used my Alta Beauty blush little duo here, uh, the Cherry Blossom one. I think I've, I've been liking to use, been, I've been liking this one. I've been liking this uh, Cherry Blossom uh, blush. You know, I've been using it, I've been using it most quite frequently, more, most often than you know the other blushes I've been using so yeah so um, I did like that all right so for my brows I went ahead and I used my Ofra Cosmetics uh, in the shade Universal brow pencil all right and then I went ahead and I used my gimme brow by benefit cosmetics um, brow gel just to kind of tame the just to kind of tame the, the lash the brows you know, mm, this this one looks more higher than this side I'm noticing right now. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so then for my eyeliner and mascara. So for my eyeliner, I went ahead and I used my Mark on the Edge. Uh, this is like a dark brown shade, and it, it's a brush tip, like a very like a very short brush tip eyeliner. One of my favorite brush tips because it's very precise. You know and it gives you it you know it's very precise whenever you do the whenever you you flick it whenever you do your your wing and whenever you apply it onto your you know upper lash line and then I went then I'm using my Lancome um, lash primer and I use this for my top lashes and my bottom lashes as well and then I used my Paris Hilton lengthening mascara for my top and my bottom lashes and then for my inner my waterline um i went in and i used my crop my crown copper rock shade eyeliner gel liner i think or is a pencil liner it's just waterproof eyeliner so it's a pencil it's a pencil eyeliner you can see that it's a pencil eyeliner not gel so i use that for the for the waterline and the primer that i used to put my eyeshadow on is the Ulta beauty Tinted Eye Primer, the shade Champagne, and then what else did I use? And I think, I believe that is, oh, the lipstick, I mean the lip liner that I use for my lipstick is this one from Ace Beauté, they're Ace Beauté or Ace Beauté, it's Ace Beauté, it's Ace Beauté, that's how they pronounce it, Ace Beauté. And I'm using the red shaded uh, lip liner, you know, just to kind of just line my lips, you know, to stay within the lines. And then I, then I went ahead and um, well, I put the lipstick on first, and then I put the lip liner over the lipstick just to make it look like more even, make it look like I didn't go outside of the lines. And that is everything that is on my skin. You know, let me leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this box. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like about it. Um, let me know if you have any questions about, you know, what did I wear, you know, on my on my face as far as my makeup goes. As, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Keep, leave your comments down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, give my video a like, and I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. You have a great, have a great, wonderful day. Bye.